Whether you're a new cuber or a pro, these are 21 cubing websites you need to know about. The most obvious entry in this list is rubix.com. Although it has very entry-level information, it has some helpful tutorial guides for beginners. In fact, it's where I first learned how to solve the Rubik's Cube. Once you learn how to solve the cube, you might want to time your solves, and there are some great websites for that too. CSTimer.net is the most popular one, and QQTimer.net is great for less common puzzles, but my personal favorite is CubingTime.com for its wide variety of features like saved personal bests, rooms to compete with people in real time, and weekly contests. Speaking of weekly contests, Cubers.io is another site where you can compete in online competitions every week. I also want to give a quick shout out to Cubedesk.io, a fairly new timer website that looks really promising. But how can you use these timer sites if you don't have cubes? There are plenty of online cube stores that sell all kinds of puzzles, but the most popular ones in the US are thecubicle.com and speedcubeshop.com. I should also mention that dailypuzzles.com.au is another popular cube store that's based in Australia, so it's probably a better option if you live closer to there. But what about websites to help you get faster at cubing? Cubeskills.com has tons of videos by Felix Zemdegs, one of the world's fastest cubers, on how to get faster at several events. Jperm.net has tutorials, guides, and even algorithm trainers for a few events. AlgDB.net is probably the world's largest database of Rubik's Cube algorithms, with hundreds of cases from basic OLL and PLL to advanced sets like ZBLL and Winter Variation. And SpeedCubeDB.com and CubeSolve.es have reconstructions of the world's fastest solves, so it's a great way to learn techniques that the pros use in their solves. Competitions are a big part of the cubing community, and WorldCubeAssociation.org is the place to find upcoming competitions, WCA profiles, and official records. But competitions aren't the only ways cubers interact with each other. People also discuss the hobby on YouTube, Reddit communities like r slash cubers, and forums like speedsolving.com. Okay, now for the websites I couldn't smoothly segue to in this script. QPB.com is a place to save your personal bests, alg.cubing.net is a kind of Rubik's Cube simulator used to recreate solves, and Rubix.com is a slightly outdated looking but still useful website that includes informational articles, a puzzle simulator, a timer, really a bit of everything. It's especially useful for newer cubers. So those are 21 websites every cuber should know about. Do you know of any websites you want to share that I missed? Leave a comment. Also, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more cubing content like this. We're getting really, really close to a thousand, and I'll see you in my next video.